What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Arc episode 20. Um Oh god, okay, so ooh. um mm, I can't remember if you guys and I don't even think I even I don't think I went back to the Discord to see if you guys gave me their names. But um this, the girl, the lieutenant from Squad 4, and, mm, man, I can never remember her name, it starts with an M, May? Is it just May? I might be wrong, but anyway, Kenpachi's lieutenant, so both the lieutenants are, they're watching over Rose and, um, I don't know, the silver-haired, uh, captain, I can't remember his name, um, but they're getting attacked by... A Quincy that they can't see. So, good luck. Um, and Ichigo is currently making his way down. That's right. Last episode was really fucking creepy. Byaki is here. And he, he mm, kind of motivated or rooted for Rukia. He kind of just like gave her that little... A confidence boost I think that she needed that you know that, that she could do this she could defeat that Quincy that she was fighting that creepy one um yeah that was a great episode uh and I feel like that's uh, all that really happened right I think we'll see um also I didn't forget I'm gonna probably keep bringing this up I still remember a comment about Mayuri and Nemu. And to keep my thought in mind of would he be upset if anything ever happened to her. So, I'm not forgetting that. And I'm just kind of like, mm, scared. Because I'm just, I don't know if that was something that would, somebody was trying to throw me off. But I'm on guard. I'm on like a Nemu guard. I don't want anything to happen to her. But I kind of do. It's fucked up to say, I know. But I kind of do because I want... I want to see how he would react. I want to see how he really feels about her. Does he just see her as... Uh, I don't know. Like, just as, like, a, a creation or a tool? Or does he see her as a person? Does he have romantic feelings for her? Or they don't even have to be romantic. But, like, I don't know. Like, their family. You know? I don't know. Anyway. Something hit her. They can't see it. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh Creepy. His eyes, like, one of them's going this way. Oh, wait, what did I hit? And they forgot what happened, right? <gasps> Mm, so you forget, right? What's the third? Oh, okay, that's the one. I don't. Was there someone here just now? Okay. Whoa, that's OP. That's sick. That's actually like that's terrifying. Oh, yes. <laughs> she is a beast. What? Oh, oh, don't fuck with her. Why can't I remember her damn name? Somebody say it. I mean, they did say it already, but like her last name, first name, whichever one. I, I don't know which is which. Oh! What? In mind games with him. That's the only way you're gonna defeat him. Get him to imagine that you're alive. That you're stronger than him. And you got him. <laughs> I'm not good at playing mind games, though. I would totally lose this fight. Ooh! Ooh! That guy. Wow. That's scary. 
That is scary. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. About that. I killed her. Shinda. That makes me so uncomfortable. Oh my god. Huh? Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh, so am I supposed to start calling him Unohana instead of Zarg? Okay. <laughs> Just like I'm free to imagine that you're dead. <laughs> if I can imagine it. Must imagine that you never injured me. Oh, okay. Mm. Possibly. Ooh! <laughs> you little shit! You cheeky little shit! Oh! So does that mean the other captains might be alive now? I keep thinking he's Aizen! <laughs> oh shit! This is Aizen with big lips. Oh god, that's this guy's fucking motto, you know? Oh? You can't beat me. Oh. Mm. The strongest doesn't have to go around proving it. I like that. Like somebody who's having fun is excited. The adrenaline's pumping. <laughs> It's the first real challenge in a while. Someone who actually wants to fight you instead of running away in fear. Oh! Abandon it then. Run. Leave it. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening, sweetheart. <laughs> You did. Oh, okay. Ooh. Thanks for pointing it out. That's, he did. He did do that before. Ugh. You need... His mind is his biggest strength and his biggest weakness. We've seen it already. Make him doubt himself again. <laughs> of course he'd be excited by this. No Zarashi! That's the name of his Sampakto? This guy over here shattering expectations. Oh, that was a nice shot. Woo! What? <laughs> what is this? It's a battle. Ah! There's nothing I can. Some fallout shit right there. Oh, 
Yeah, just your mind, because it's too short. Too short lived. The Headless Star. Okay, I can't. That black and white screen's hard on the eyes. Oh, that was pretty. Oh, let's look at that. Ooh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Anyway, ooh, that was awesome. That was awesome. That was a great fight. The power of the mind. Wow. That, I, I, I'm speechless. Like, it really was his greatest strength and his greatest weakness. You know? And it does kind of remind me of, like, you know, sometimes we're our own, like, biggest obstacle a lot of the time, right? Like, you're limited by what you believe you can do. If you don't think, it's kind of cliche, but, like, you know that whole thing of, like, well, if you already have the mindset of, like, you know, you're a loser, you think you're going to lose, or there's no way that you're going to be able to do it, then you're probably not going to be able to do it. You have to have the mindset of a winner! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you do. You need to have the mindset of a winner. You can't... The second you start believing that there's no point, that you should just give up, then it's all that much easier to actually succumb to that, and it, for that to actually become your reality. Um, so... Yeah, sorry, I feel like I kind of drifted a bit. Um, but yeah, um, your, your mind, man. This was a trip. This episode was a fucking trip. <laughs> um, and I'm reading a book right now that's very, like, it's very, uh, philosophical, philosophy focused. So I'm just kind of like, um, wah. Well, my brain is just kind of feeling overloaded at the moment. But, um, yeah, that, I don't know how else to say it other than that was amazing. And I just feel like that character deserved more screen time. Like, him <clears throat> at the end, like, I'm scared to imagine what's next. You know, that, this character was, essentially, he was just a little brain in a jar, but... He wasn't, he was only limited by his imagination. I mean, that, and then in the end, he, he kind of had given up. He, he, he couldn't imagine winning anymore against Zarki. I mean, it, and that was like when he lost. Oh, you, fo you, you lost focus. Oh, you weren't focused. You, you didn't think about, you know, you hardening your body or whatever. Like, that's kind of crazy. Like, when all of your power comes from your mind... If you, if the second you're distracted or the second your thought may lag behind your opponents, like that, that's actually like a really, I don't know, a big weakness. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, I don't know if I'm making any sense or if I'm even giving you guys anything of value right now, but like that, you have to think incredibly fast and you need to be very, um, um, you have to have, I feel like, a, a great amount of foresight to, if, if that, if your mind, your imagination is your weapon, right? Like, for, for like, a regular, I don't know, more typical ability, right? Like, you have to think ahead, but also at the same time, your body is as strong as it, it, it it's not... I feel like it's a little more consistent, right? Like, for him... The second his thoughts may drift to him being weaker or possibly losing, like, his body was... It can go from being incredibly, um, sturdy and, I don't know, like, damn near invincible or to being, like, a cookie, <laughs> you know? Like, it, it, it's just, like, that's not something that Zaraki or Ichigo would ever have to really worry about, right? They're they're confident. They... they mm, they can rely on that that thought that like you know like they know their body is sturdy it's reliable it's damn near indestructible like they they know that right and so they they really just need to focus on their battle like their strategy right for him he has to constantly focus on strategy outthinking his opponent outthinking them but also um 
for outwitting them, but also, like, thinking faster than them. While at the same time, making sure he's constantly keeping a mindset of, like, or the thought that he's strong, his body is strong. Like, that's a lot. That's a lot. I'm sorry, but, like, that's too much to have to think of at one time. <laughs> so, I give him a lot of credit. Um, because he's clearly come a very long way. This is obviously not his first battle, and, you know, he, he established in this fight that, like, he's he's renowned for being the strongest. I never had to really prove it to anyone. I don't have, I never had the desire because I just know I am. Which, I like that mindset. People who have to go around constantly showing off or bragging about how they're the strongest. Oh, God. Me and my mom were talking about that today. I don't like people like that who just constantly have to, like, puff their chest out. And I'm not talking about just men. I'm talking about however you identify. I don't... I've seen it in different genders, not just men. Like, it... It's a turnoff. Not, I'm not talking about romantically, just, like, as a friend, as a person. I don't want to be around you. Like, that's annoying, and it's just... You're... Uh, I don't know. Like, you just... You're not... You don't come off like a very, you know genuine, down-to-earth, I don't know, kind person. I don't, I just don't want anything to do with that. Um, but, so I like that. He's like, I don't need to go prove it. Like, I just know I am. Like, have that, that quiet confidence. I like to, um, but yeah, I don't even know if I'm, this is anything I'm saying is relevant anymore, honestly. I'm sorry, this review didn't need to be as long as it was, but that was, that twist, though, when that old man was like, you find out he's just a, 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 a manifestation of his imagination. Like, that was fucking cool. That twist... Dude, didn't see it coming. That that was amazing. <laughs> and the visuals. The visuals this episode. Impeccable. Magnificent. Like, I just... It was great. But anyway, I'm gonna shut the fuck up because now I have to edit this mess because, you know, I was bouncing back and forth and pausing constantly. Uh, I'm gonna have to comb through this. Um, and get ready to record X-Men soon. Not soon, soon, but soon. Because it's 12.30, so... I haven't, like, an hour and a half till that comes out. More like... I'm gonna have to wait for it to come out online, because... I... I can't screen record this anymore. This comes out black. So... That sucks, but yeah. Anyway, okay. <laughs> remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. And remember, guys, signing up for the Patreon is literally, like, the best way to support the channel. So, yeah, if that's something you're interested in doing, you know, supporting the channel and obviously getting full reactions, um, sign up for the Patreon. But, um... If not, no big deal. Just continue enjoying the reactions on YouTube. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I am going to get out of here, guys. And I will catch you in the next reaction.